All right, folks, welcome back. Today we have a very impromptu video. We honestly had no idea that we were gonna find golf clubs here. We were actually going to Goodwill to find a pair of shoes to go to my cousin's wedding, which is the reason that we're on this long road trip, which we are still on. If you guys can uh, guess where we are at, then uh, props to you guys, but definitely props to this Goodwill. It was in Seattle, it had a Goodwill attached to it, a Goodwill bins. And like I said, I had no idea we were gonna find anything. So the video, it's actually pretty good, but uh, never know what we already found, so. Let's go find it again. Let's go find it again. Also, a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN, more on that later, but we'll meet you at the uh, Goodwill, and then Goodwill Bins with one of our best finds of the road trip. Starting things out over here on the bougie side, we'll head over to the uh, Bins. I think there's gonna be more golf clubs and higher end stuff over here. We've got a bunch of uh, a Nightmare Before following. Christmas. Yeah, this is pretty cool. There's a uh, pawn shop off of 192 in Orlando, which we're from. They have some amazing, uh, a nightmare before Christmas, yes. like life size, actually probably bigger than life size. Uh -huh. uh, they have an Oogie Boogie that's probably like seven feet uh, tall. Cool. Right next to the sporty goods section, check this out. We got a Mickey waffle maker for $10. We've got a dog bone maker. Oh no, oh, wait. Halloween thing. Oh, it's a Halloween, it looks like a dog bone maker. There's like a little dog bone uh, icon right there. $10 for that. And you got a lifetime supply of uh, different waffle makers. Also have a Bacon Nation. <laughs> Oh, it's like not... bacon cups. Oh yeah, I've seen those before. That is pretty sweet. Uh -huh. We got the uh, George Foreman as always, but here is the uh, sporting goods section over here. What is this? Is that like a bow? I have no idea what that is. We got some ping pong balls. Oh, we got golf stuff. Thought there's gonna be a board. Maybe there's more on the other side, but a golf ball monogrammer. Got the putting mat with return. Accelerator Pro for $14.99. The Dustin Johnson one, I forget what that one's called, but I see those in Dick's Sporting Goods for like $150. Yeah. It's literally like the same thing except it's wood. This one seems like it would be harder to make because there's electronics going on. What kind of putter is that? Oh, it's a uh, Scotty Cameron. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. There you go. Got a uh, helmet of some sorts over there. I gotta say, I thought there was gonna be more golf clubs. Yes. Maybe they're on uh, this side over here. We've got lose your love handles. I could use that more than uh, some new golf clubs. You got this, what is this? Seattle Seahawks, brand new, it tags in, insulated can. Oh yeah, if, oh. You're get, if you're trying to get loaded, you can load that one uh, up. And then you can travel on your hoverboard. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if those two should uh, go together. <laughs> Intoxicated hoverboarding is probably not a, a good combination, <laughs> but uh, definitely a good combination, Seattle and some uh, umbrellas, but. Let's go see what kind of uh, other weird things we can yeah. find in here and then we'll head over to the uh, bins. <laughs> all right, let's see what kind of shoes they have. We got some uh, Epic Reacts going for $14.99. I assume that all of this stuff is gonna be like over there. So yeah. there's a lot of like professional people who go to like the bins as like a business. Mm -hmm. So I assume they come over here so there's not gonna be anything like crazy. Well, they do have some uh, Columbia shoes right there. We got some knockoff Air Monarch Dad shoes. Got some uh, Zoom Pegasus 35s. Those are actually pretty good going for $14.99. New Balance Dad shoes. Oh yeah, that's an upgraded. That's a more refined dad yeah, shoe this is your like fancy dad shoe. yeah that's a dad shoe with a, a purpose here you go here's your more standard uh, dad shoe right there yeah those ones are snap oh they got some ultras these are actually pretty uh high-end uh, hiking shoes they're like the uh, zero drop mm -hmm. whenever you see zero drop shoes definitely uh, check them out look them up on ebay 14.99 these ones have been used and abused but the zero drops usually tend to do very well and i think these are some Allbirds right here man i was gonna say all of the uh, good shoes are gonna be taken that is there's another pair of Allbirds. two Allbirds right next to each other interesting see what else we got over here we got some i think these are some roshis kind of like a camo colorway kind of cool you see anything did you ever see these oh the lunar lawns are those yeah. the golf ones i don't know uh, no, oh no no i think these are the tennis ones but a uh, lunar lawn or however you say that had some uh, golf uh, lineups there are pretty cool mm -hmm. got some ultra boost right here as well interesting well i think the uh, bins people are sleeping on their shoes over here not to like resell it but just like actual good shoes to uh, wear and i found these shoes at goodwill yeah and unlimited supply of wool socks, which you'd actually use here. Yeah. Oh, there's like an unlimited supply of Seahawk stuff over here too. Oh, it's a whole Seahawks section. You got baby all the way down to. That's kind of amazing. It goes on over there. They've got Seahawks pajamas. That's amazing. <laughs> that is kind of amazing. I wish ours did this. It's yeah. really cool. Well, we don't really have a, uh, yeah, it's not a huge contingent, <laughs> although the uh, vintage Orlando Magic stuff. Oh, the, my that, Taz yeah, shirt? Yeah, the Taz shirt and the Shaq stuff, mm -hmm. Penny Hardaway. That stuff's like super collectible and cool, but uh, 
All right, let's go see if there's anything else cool in here and then we'll meet you over at the bins, if not. All right, folks, before we jump into the Goodwill bins, I wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And make sure you stay tuned for the Goodwill bins find because it's probably one of our best finds on the entire road trip, although we are still on it, so who knows? But what I do know is that we have been accessing the internet from some crazy locations and luckily, we've had the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN, to help us encrypt our information. And yesterday, we actually uploaded a video from Disneyland, which I would never do on an unsecure location, but luckily with the VPN, we were all good to go there. Oh, wrong floor. I think I did that. That was my fault. Oops. Yeah, but speaking of my fault, I thought we were going to be all good to go and watch our favorite Netflix show currently, Ballin' in Canada, but unfortunately it's not available there. However, with Surfshark VPN, you can change the region in which you're accessing information, so we were all good to go there. So if you guys want to be ballin' like us, use the code in the description, John and Ash. Now let's get back to the Goodwill bins. And thank you once again for Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video, and stay tuned for the rest of the road trip. It's been pretty amazing. Working with sponsors like this allows us to uh, provide you better and more content. I don't know about better, but... Better might be pushing it. Better might be pushing <laughs> it, but uh, let's push our way over into the Goodwill bin. All right, lots of interesting stuff at the uh, main Goodwill store, but we're heading over to the bins now. And if you guys aren't familiar with the bins, it's basically all this unsold stuff mm -hmm. from uh, Goodwills like this or stuff that they don't want to sort through. They'll sell it by the pound. In and bins. Yeah, in bins. Hence why it's called the uh, Goodwill yeah. bins or sometimes it's called the uh, Goodwill outlet. But as you can see, people just pick through a ton of stuff. It's super popular with vintage tees. Mm -hmm. Not so much popular with the uh, golf clubs, although we have found golf clubs at the Goodwill bins in Ocala. And some cool head covers too. Yes, yeah, definitely some uh, cool stuff. Let's see what they got for us. Whoa, check this off right yeah, off the bat. We've got an Instapot right next to two golf bags. This one still has the rain cover, an OGO hey. bag. See if all the zipper, uh, this would oh, be yeah. impossible to uh, ship back and also you're paying by the pound. So this would probably be like 15 bucks depending on the price. Yeah, Usually it's, it's like a dollar fifty to two bucks, but that is crazy too. Let's go through all the, uh, uh, looks someone, like somebody has already gone crushed. through. Yeah, you can hold it upside down see if there's something to get it. That's okay. a, uh, you gotta be a true golfer to know that. No, nothing but uh, dirt <laughs> under there. But uh, we do have an Instapot as well and another golf. Oh, there's some teas in here. That's Those, terrific. Terrific for sure. Just like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for the uh, second channel, which is, believe it or not, even worse than the main channel. But let's see if there's anything. Uh, there's gotta be something in here. Come, Come on. on. This will be the find of the day, no matter what's in here. All right, let me shake this back. You shake it. Oh, there is. Yes, there's a pair of flip flops. Nice. Report flip-flops find of the day right there would not recommend golfing in those i think no. those are for after the uh, yeah. 19th hole the 19th hole for sure more 19th hole vibes Let's see if there's anything else cool in here that was right off the rip yeah. though got a uh, basketball we do have some sporting goods stuff in here a flamingo oh, there's very flamingos rare. very rare flamingo used for to sure. be stacked golf bingo oh there's a uh, pull cart how did we miss that i have no idea there's got to be other golf stuff in here if there are two bags and a pull cart yeah. in the same thing Let's see, maybe we'll find, I was literally gonna say, maybe we'll find a golf ball and there's one right here. <laughs> Jackson Park, Pinnacle. Golf glove. Top of the line. Oh, an old school foot toy glove. Those were top of the line back in the day. Oh no, watch out for the crocodile. Watch out for the crocodile croc. <laughs> Got a uh, Mickey down here as well. That is a vintage Mickey. Yeah, is that a gun? Cool. Is it a gun? 2010, I just think it's been um, well loved. That is just one of the worst looking modern Mickeys I've ever <laughs> right. seen. I don't know what's going on with that one. What else we have over here? Some Hershey's board games. Oh, we got a club, we got a club. No. Taylor made fire soul sandwich. Let's go. Original grip, original shaft. If this had the bubble shaft, this might go on the main channel. Oh, yeah. An absolute grail. That's, what are the chances of that? That is amazing. That. All right, let's see if we can find anything else in here. Also, you probably want to wear gloves in here because- yeah, That's why we're picking in delicately. Delicately. Let's see what else we got down here. Last display. We got a, a bug swatter over there. We got a tricycle. We've got an ATV. Got Spider Man over there. Oh, Spider Man. Let's see what else we have over here. We got some uh, kitchenware. We got a tortoise he's or a turtle. Down, turtle. Yeah, can't tell if he's upside down. Oh, this is like the IKEA thing that you put all your silverware in. Yeah, we have one of those. Yes, it's still got the IKEA sticker on there. Fascinating stuff. Like I said, comment like and subscribe for the most amazing channel of all time we got the uh, duck going on right here Do you remember those? oh yeah give a demonstration <laughs> he still works oh, he makes all the oh That's yeah adorable. the little squeaker's broken just like in toy story 
get put on the uh, broken shelf. Wheezy? Wheezy, yeah. <laughs> the guy was awesome. All right, we got a uh, remote control RC thing over here. I think this is the back to a tractor, so it collects your grass. Yeah. Ashley's got something that I do not want to know what it is. Oh my goodness! It's a Medicus! <laughs> Dual hinge Medicus! Let's go! Oh, that's another fire soul! The first golf club's nice. ever fa Oh, it's a three iron! The fire soul three iron! Yeah. That's worth at least like 20 bucks. The Medicus dual hinge is worth probably about 20 bucks. The same way, I have no idea, but that's kind of fascinating. Yeah, usually if you find like the older, uh, Longer irons, people like to use them as driving irons. Mm -hmm, so like a little much cheaper than yeah, the, much uh, cheaper than buy a, a two hundred dollar driving yes. iron. But the Medicus as seen on TV, <laughs> special. That is almost as special as us. What else we got over here? We got a Schwinn bike rack. This is kind of fascinating as well. Oh, and my mom's here also. Hi guys. What is this? Isn't that cool? Is this by Bur Burnin? I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of amazing. I can't believe there's golf clubs in here. What else do you find? Oh, that's actually, that's literally still at the uh, Nike store. Yeah. The Is waffle really? fry Nike. That's yeah, amazing. We almost bought that, but you don't get to wear a lot of Oh, it's another putter. <laughs> yeah. Is that a Spalding cash in? No, I think it's just, this is like Spalding. Yeah. I have no idea. Uh, undetermined, whatever you Undetermined make and model on that one. But to find golf clubs at the bins. It's not expected. That. Not expected. That's kind of amazing. There you go, thumbnail. Smorgasbord. We should get the OGO bag for the thumbnail oh, too. There you go. Because we did find it, although we're not going to buy it. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> also, my mom found a putter. And a modern... Oh, and you got a friend's new with tags. I know. Look at this. You should start your own YouTube channel. Yeah. It'll be better than ours. <laughs> Well, quick update. It ended up being a full set of these tailor-made fire soles, three iron yeah. all the way down to the sand wedge. How crazy is that? Yeah, and they were all in different bins. We were just over there where yeah. the uh, bag is, but that is... I was not expecting that at that all. That was crazy. First, that's... <laughs> I have no idea. Guys, comment below if you've ever been to a Goodwill bins and found a full, full set, set of uh, irons. That's pretty insane. With the bag, with putters. And the waffle fry sweatshirt, that might be the coolest thing. That was, it was a good find on your mom. There you go, part. thumbnail. This is now the thumbnail. Okay. Oh yeah, oh, make sure the kid's not in there. There you go, oh, perfect, nailed it. All right, folks, well, a successful video. Definitely more successful than I thought it was going to be. Yes. I didn't think we were really gonna actually turn this no, into a like video. shaking the rest off of filming. Yeah, we haven't filmed in a week or so, so it's just like kind of, yeah, yeah shaking the rust off, obviously. There's still rust because I can't even talk, but yes. that was amazing. Three iron all the way down to the sandwich, plus we got the uh, Medicus, and I didn't even uh, check out, so I have no, no idea how much guess you spent. Guess the price. $35. $5.99. $5.99? What do they charge you these for? So since it's a set, if it's over five pounds, then it's just $5.99, because it's like one thing, one item. That's crazy. That is, <laughs> that is probably one of the cooler, well, it's definitely the coolest thing we've ever had at yes. the Goodwill bids and one of the uh, cooler Goodwill experiences. Yeah. But hopefully you guys did find this experience Super worthy cool. of subscribing. <laughs> like I said, I didn't think it was going to be a video, no. just knocking the uh, rust off because we haven't filmed for a week. Yeah. And uh, well, we knocked the rust off of yeah. finding golf clubs. It's probably still a crusty video, but hopefully you guys did like this crusty video. If you did like it, subscribe and we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.